Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Manuela from the University of Milano. I'm, I have a surname that is quite self-explicative about uh, where I come from. So, uh, so just a few words about our university. Uh, more or less the same dimension of Zagreb, as I can say. <laughs> and uh, we are the biggest university in Milano, not the biggest university in Italy. Uh, generalistic university with more or less all the disciplines and so on. So we started uh, with Natasha and Clive, a very good collaboration, more or less uh, two years ago in uh, January, when they came to Milano and we ran two workshops together. Uh, of course, uh, we started our collaboration within the LERU framework where I started to talk with Clive about uh, this opportunity. And from that moment on, we start collaborating. Anyway, uh, after that uh, two workshops, uh, we started run in UNIMI in a uh, different context. What does it mean? With different disciplines, different levels, so from uh, a degree to a master degree to a postgraduate course in any uh, kind of context that you can imagine. And we started also to match the ABC with uh, another course, uh, always uh, within uh, the LERU framework, that is uh, the redesign your, blended, uh, your course with blended learning uh, from the University of uh, Utrecht. We started to blend uh, the two experiences together, and we did it once uh, last year and once this year in two different formats. The first one was blending them, so offering the redesign your course with the blended learning experience to all the teachers who are willing to do it, but who have attended an ABC version. Otherwise, we are doing it, uh, and we, we did it uh, in the past month, uh, with the same group of teachers who have to rebuild their own uh, activity within the nurse uh, degree. And so they attended, first of all, the ABC, and then uh, the redesign your course with blended learning uh, later on. So, just a few words about our experiences. Uh, we start translated everything in Italian, and it took a lot of time. And it's not about translating. Of course, it's about localizing. And, uh, for example, it's interesting to know that we started to analyze the Italian translation of L'Oreal Arts test, and we found that the translation was not good at all. So we have to work again on uh, the labels and the vocabulary because the Italian translation was not good. And uh, after uh, having uh, translated it uh, in Italian, the cards, uh, once, after mm, two or three workshops, we changed some of the, our translation and we are keeping <laughs> to understand which are the right labels that we have to adopt when we are using the Italian cards. Because in some other contexts, uh, we are using the English version, and maybe, in some cases, it's better. Because it's easier, it's easier for our teachers when we use the English labels than when we use the Italian labels, because they are less used to use an Italian vocabulary on this topic. Anyway, we could talk about it. Of course, I have already talked about uh, the blend experience that we had with uh, the Utrecht uh, uh, course. And also in this case, we have to adapt the two vocabulary, the one used in ABC and we are the one used uh, at the with uh, the course from uh, the colleagues in Utrecht. So we are about what uh, how are we evaluating it? We are working together, and there's the marvelous paper that we published last year with the two of you. <laughs> and uh, then later on, uh, for each workshop uh, we propose, uh, we have uh, a survey with teachers, and so we are collecting data about their experiences. And uh, after each workshop, uh, we go back uh, with the, the ones who asked us to go to their group of teachers uh, and to understand uh, uh, with them, so with the program's director or anyone 
from the sponsor we can talk about, uh, how we can go on. So we really use uh, ABC like a starting point at the moment, and it works really well. So about uh, the outcome for us is that it helps a lot in creating a common language. What does it mean? That they, they are not used to talk about how they teach. They are used uh, a lot to talk uh, with their colleagues uh, about research, uh, research activities, but they are not used to discuss together about the way they used to teach. So it helps a lot. Also create a common language on teaching. And at the same time, uh, developing communities of practice among teachers. And yes, I think that the last one is the most important point, to create a good climate to start collaborating on this. It, it helps a lot in this. What do we expect from the project? To learn from the others, like uh, in uh, each uh, experience like this one, and uh, to understand which are the alternatives to the traditional format, and so to co-design together experience that could be used also, maybe with a group of teachers at the same time got coming from different universities. This could be also another option too. Thanks. Okay, thank you.